Assalamualaikum and hi uh, Now we are going to do Question 10 Generating excellent uh, Syllabus form 2 uh, The question is The diagram above is the roof of a terrace house If the height of the roof is 5 meter Calculate A the gradient of the roof B the length of the slant of the roof So for those who are not uh, in form 2, there's a diagram there showing a, a roof. Okay, so I've sketched the, the roof. The length here is 15 meter and the other side. Okay, so pardon me, the drawing is not, uh, you have to refer to the real diagram here in order to really understand. Okay, so, uh, so in order to know the gradient, uh, what is the formula for gradient? So gradient usually we indicate with M is length of vertical over length of horizontal. Okay. So that is the formula. So you have to memorize that. Okay, so uh, do we know the length of the vertical? 5. Okay. And the length of horizontal is 7.5. Why is it 7.5? Because we are talking about gradient of this line. This one. Okay. Or this one. Okay. So the one that we mean by vertical is the length here okay so this is the vertical this is the horizontal okay so we have to draw uh, a right angle triangle in order to know what is the length of the uh, vertical and the length of the horizontal uh, and simplify 5 over 7 over 5 would be uh, 0 0.6 0 0.666 so I prefer to use 2 over 3 or okay so this is the exact value because the decimal will be something like uh, like this okay so actually 0 0.6666 until the end all right so that is a uh, how about b b is the length of the slang of the roof okay so now we want to know what is the length from A to B? Okay. So, um, you have to use Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So, for the student in form 2, you learn this Pythagoras theorem last chapter of form 1. Okay. So, uh, in order to use Pythagoras theorem, you have to have a right angle triangle. So, this is a right angle triangle. And you have to label the two sides that you have. That is, here is 5 and here is 7.5. So that is the, the case now. You have to find the length of the hypotenuse. So to, to be able to find hypotenuse, you have to add these two. Square. Because the relationship, let's say here is A and here is B. And here is C. So that A, B, C, D, you can, sometimes the teacher will say, this is C, this is B or whatsoever. That is not really uh, important. But as what is important is that hypotenuse square is equals to the other two sides square. So B squared plus C squared for my diagram, the, the labeling that I do. Okay. So, if your teacher label differently, so this will be different. Okay, what is important? On one side is hypotenuse. Okay, in order to know the length of hypotenuse square, you add the two uh, sides, the other, the, the other two shorter sides together. So, in this case, it will be 5 square plus 7.5 square equals to, I do not know, so I need to use calculator. 5 squared plus 7.5 squared. That is 81.25. And then you 
because we want to know the value of a not the a squared so a will be square root of 81.25 okay so what is the value 9.0138 9.0138 centimeter okay the is there any okay so this question doesn't state how many decimal that they want so you can just state uh, i prefer to give at least four decimal so see you later